I'm Bobby. And I'm Selena. And we're grade nine students at Winston Churchill High School. Our project is uniting through music and speech. So for our project, we decided to go perform piano and speech pieces at senior homes around Lethbridge. So we contacted these senior homes to play recitals because we found that during the pandemic, we lacked on experience playing in front of an audience. This opportunity was really great because it allowed us to practice, perform, and memorize our pieces while still being able to enhance positivity and happiness throughout the community. So we learned that throughout our project, making a difference in the community and making um, someone's day is actually easier than it looks. We got to meet so many new people and we're really excited to go back and we can't wait to perform yeah. again. We want to continue playing and we also want to invite more people to come and share just whenever they want. If they have a piece, a new piece they want to play, just invite them. We can give the senior homes a call and then just get a recital going. You can just call any senior home, St. Martha is the view, and just talk to them about booking a recital if you want to go and play and just show off your talents and your abilities. The, yeah. the people there are all very welcoming and encouraging. Yeah, so we really encourage you to go out there and just show off your talents and your skills. Hello, my name is Jerry Wong, and I'm in grade 10 at Winston Churchill High School. My project is a drumming circle that aims to improve uh, and promote youth mental wellness. Our lives have mostly returned to pre-COVID-19 levels, but some effects of the pandemic still remain. The, uh, the children that were in elementary school at the beginning of the pandemic are now approaching their teenage years. Many of the uh, emotional traumas that have been caused by quarantining, social distancing, online schooling, and masking need to be addressed. The results of many studies show that drumming can have positive effects on youth mental health and social well-being. These drumming programs show positive effects in social, uh, teenage self-esteem and a decrease in reported behaviors in schools. Many drumming programs have already been developed in clinical settings such as the Calgary South Health Campus, but there are currently none in Lethbridge. My program uh, aims to promote youth mental wellness and raise community awareness. My program will be run at the Boys and Girls Club of Lethbridge, 227 15, uh, 12 B Street North. And uh, it, the pilot program will be run on June 8th. The formal program will begin in September of this year. And I encourage anyone who would like to join to come and have some fun. I have eight drums open, but I will always expand the program if there are uh, people who would like to join. My name is Truly, and I'm a grade nine student at Winston Churchill High School. I started baking at the age of six, and at the age of eight, I was inspired to start selling my products to be able to buy Christmas presents for my friends and family. I built my cooking skills by attending cooking classes at Interfaith Kitchen, as well as taking out cookbooks from the library and baking with my mom. When I was younger, I sold cookies primarily, one time even taking on an order of over 100 cookies. When me and my sisters wanted to attend a summer camp, we even did a fundraiser making s'mores cookies to raise money for our camp fees. A few years ago, I had the opportunity to take an entrepreneurship class hosted by Interfaith. There I learned budgeting and marketing skills that helped me in my business. As I got older and life got busier, I simplified my plan by making bread and bread products for the people who use my mom's day home. That way, they had an easier pickup and order location. I have applied for the scholarship because I understand the value of money and want to plan for my future. I am considering taking nursing. I've, I think I've learned really how to, how to manage my time and what I can take on like when I have different things going on. Uh, my name is Kennedy Chin. I'm from Chinook High School in grade 10. And for this year for the ICE scholarship, I did an art portfolio on the concept of escapism. I've always believed that art is showing others how you see the world. I chose the theme of escapism because I've always viewed the world as something to be improved, and when it can't be improved upon is to be escaped from. This is a series of eight art pieces I've done over the span of four months. All of them explore different aspects of escapism, such as social media, 
fantasy, mental health, fate, COVID-19 lockdown, identity, and other concepts, uh, consequences of escapism. Some of these pieces have been chosen for galleries such as the Dare to Care Art Fundraiser, Copic International 2022, Arts Alive, Playgoers, and 100 year, uh, Playgoers 100 year anniversary while still fitting in with the overall theme of escapism. It's a series of eight paintings and I use various mediums uh, such as watercolor, acrylic, inks, and printing, and digital, and photography, and it's just a bunch of combinations of all those. I plan on working towards bigger projects in the future, uh, such as commissions. I'd like to do commissions for charities, fundraisers. Um, I'd like to sell my art in the future, and my goal is to be an art teacher. So that's my current plan. My name is Claire Moore. I am in grade 11 at Emmanuel. So a year ago, I started a small business through Instagram, selling custom watercolor um, portraits of houses, pets, and families primarily. Yeah, and I've just kept painting um, for the past year and gotten super cool opportunities. People send me their homes and pets, and usually there's lots of memories and nostalgia attached, attached to um, whatever the subject matter is. And so through that, I found my art to kind of gain a lot of intention and purpose, whereas before, maybe I was just painting kind of for fun, random stuff. But now um, I'm able to provide people with meaningful art that tells a story. From the beginning, I had to kind of learn how to price my artwork and how to package it and where to find materials and how to communicate with clients online. And then, yeah, I was able to just have worked through those small hurdles and eventually come up with a business that I'm really proud of. I want to keep growing it into something bigger. I have big dreams for this project and business and I want to also um, work with students and pursue art education because it's been such a big part of my journey as an artist and how I've gained the skills I have today. So my name is Agraj Podel and I'm from the Shinnok High School Math Club. My name is Morteza Faraji, I'm also from the Shinnok High School Math Club. I'm Masataro Tatsuno and I'm from um, the Winston Churchill Math Club. I'm Stephen Yang and I'm from Churchill Math Club. So in the summer last year, I had the idea that uh, there was a kind of a gap in our school for enthusiasm in math. And so that mainly stemmed from the lack of Waterloo contests being available at our school. So I felt like uh, I had the opportunity to just get something going to encourage people to take those opportunities because I haven't really seen or heard of anyone doing it at my school before. And so I told it to Mar Morteza and we got it going. And then uh, Churchill as well, they had the same idea and then it went from there. Yeah, and I think our vision was um, kind of centered around peer mentorship. We realized that some students, they learn better from other students. So I, our math club idea actually stemmed from our student help desk. So giving students more opportunities to learn outside of the classroom. And not only that, so we wanted to make math more inclusive. So we realized there's a lot of stigma around being able to like participate in academics, but specifically like um, in math-related courses. So we wanted to try to make it more inclusive and like create more of an inviting space in, within our community. Yeah. And, and the last one is uh, we definitely wanted to focus around opportunity as well. We live in a world where math is increasingly becoming much more important in, in our society. So we really wanted to give a lot of students opportunities to be able to express themselves and learn a little bit more about math uh, when they're in uh, high school. Yeah, and most importantly, we wanted to be known as like the fun club. Yeah. So we have yeah. a lot of fun activities every week. There's something different every week. And yeah, so our kind of three pillars in math club are inclusivity, opportunity, and having fun. Um, my name is Samrit Muti. I'm a grade 12 student at Winston Churchill High School. Um, my project has been creating the first ever student-led Bollywood dance team here in Lethbridge. Uh, the dance team is an all-inclusive student dance team um, geared towards promoting and upkeeping Indian identity in Lethbridge. Um, students from various backgrounds are encouraged to join. Um, this was first established in October and it flourished ever since my school held a Heritage Day. Um, ever since then it's been great and it's been moving forward.
Students have been very interested. Ever since I launched this on social media, it has been reposted by many students. Many students have followed us. Um, many students have actually joined as well and they filled out our audition form. Um, ever since it has been opened up to my school, we've held dance lessons for in-class activities as well. So it's been amazing to see that various students, no matter their background, have been wanting to join and participate in our events. Um, a bunch of our dancers are not only, they're in grades younger than I, so they want to carry this onward in our school. But a goal of mine is to venture out into the community and open this up to other schools and just the community in general. Hi, I'm Bronwyn. I'm Madeline. I'm Marie. I'm Sian. And we're all grade 11 students at LCI. So for our project, we established Earth Club at our school, a group dedicated to bettering the environmental health of LCI, where we promote sustainability. Um, as a group, we felt motivated by a multitude of different unique and personal experiences, and we all really wanted to spread awareness on animal welfare and climate issues, specifically uh, environmental issues uh, surrounding our community and specifically in our school. Yeah, and some of our ongoing projects at the moment, we have the sock donation, which is called the Second Cut Project with Smartwool. Basically what that is, is people around the school drop off their socks and then they're sent to Smartwool to be repurposed. We also are currently helping at the Strunak Regional Hospital Gardens, weeding and replanting some flowers. And we additionally have a living plant wall which is kind of like in the works, so there'll be more information on that later. And we are looking forward to some future projects as well. Yeah, we do have a lot planned for the future as the club continues to grow. We hope to spread awareness about the environment through fundraisers, volunteering, tree planting, and some larger goals, as like such as recycling um, markers and pens. And we also are considering maybe establishing wind turbines or solar solar pan panels at our school. We're really hoping to spread it um, to the community. We don't want it to just remain in LCI. We do want the legacy to spread um, among the student body, but also around the community, which is why we've been really focusing on volunteering and getting involved with organizations that promote sustainability and environmental welfare.